Hi, this is Chuck Wood coming at you again from Duquesne University. Uh, today we'll be giving you some interview questions on CISSP domain number nine legal uh, and, and, uh, and regulatory uh, uh, restrictions on information security. So the first question is, was Sarbanes-Oxley, it's a law that uh, was passed after the Enron scandal, with SOX, which is Sarbanes-Oxley, uh, how is that different than any other security regulation? Okay, there is a reason why SOX is taken so seriously, and that reason is that the uh, corporate executives that signed off on your financial documents or did not sign off on your financial documents can go to jail if they are filed documents that are factually incorrect, even if it's a mistake. So if they say they're factually correct, they need to be factually correct, or they could go to jail. So unlike other regulations where there is a fee or a fine, this involves jail terms. So uh, you can imagine that corporate executives are very serious about getting this right. The second question is, describe how policy, procedures, laws, and ethics all interrelate. Okay, the, this is a, a important. Uh, the idea is that there are laws that are passed regarding information security, protection of, of information for children and, and uh, uh, credit and, and uh, health information. Okay, these laws, Combined with the ethics, what do you think you should be doing? And that's important. You need to figure out what you think you should be doing in context with the law. So if you don't think it's important for you to do something, but the law tells you to, you have to. But, but by the same token, if you think it's important to protect your security because you owe it to your clients, you owe it to your employees, you owe it to yourself, then you should do so. From the laws and the ethics come the policies that you make in your corporation. So the policies come through. And then they uh, tell the uh, uh, managers what they should enforce. And then the procedures are how they enforce them. So for instance, if it's important for people not to hack into your system, you would have a password policy of, of uh, eight characters and three numbers or something like that. Okay, and so then the, the, the policy would be the eight characters and third num three numbers. The, I mean, the policy would be protecting the, the password and the procedure would be eight characters, three numbers. Okay, and then now the next question is, how does chain of custody impact digital forensics? Okay, digital forensics is when something criminal, criminal happens to your organization. Everything gets shut down immediately, and the digital forensics people come in and try to make sense of what happened. Okay, so uh, if, for instance, you're running a program which steals money from a bank, the digital forensics people would have to take your computer and track who has access to it, when they have access to it, what they had access to throughout the entire uh, time of the incident to the court trial. Okay, so in this sense, uh, the, the, the evidence is never left alone, never left unattended, or someone could say, well, someone came in and changed it. So if you have evidence on a computer and someone changes it, it moves it from prima facie evidence to hearsay, and hearsay is usually not admissible in court. So uh, if you want to use the digital evidence to prosecute criminal activity, you need to establish a chain of custody of the computer and the hard drive where the digital evidence exists. Okay, next question. Uh, what are the consequences of stolen credit card data? Okay, now there are possibly some legal and civil uh, criminal violations that uh, that you could run into. So someone could sue you if they lose your credit card data, uh, or someone could uh, actually prosecute you if you're involved in the theft or the dissemination of credit card data. But the real thing you gotta watch out for is the payment card industry data security standard, or the PCI DSS, or some people just call it the PCI. Okay, the PCI is uh, used to, it's an organization that monitors all this, uh, the security, and they have a long, long 80 page or so list of things that you have to do. And when you sign up with the PCI DSS, you agree that you did them. If you get your credit card information stolen, they often can come in right away and assess whether you actually did them and then penalize you and charge you if you didn't. And so you could end up paying tens of thousands of dollars per day, millions of dollars per incident and still be on the hook for any lost money or any lost credit uh, and any lawsuits.
So losing credit card data is very, very, very bad, and you want to safeguard that as much as possible or outsource it to someone else and not mess with it at all. And that's my recommendation that you should be thinking about unless you're a very large organization. Now, and finally, in SOX, what is SSAE 16 and SAS 70? Okay, SAS 70 describes how many controls you have and how you are stopping errors, hackers, mistakes from being made in your financial documents. So every time you uh, put something in which ensures the accuracy of your financial documents, the SAS 70 uh, mandates that you document this and tell about how you can control called controls, how you control those procedures which ensure the accuracy. Now the SSAE 16 is a written statement that describes how you control them. And it uh, applies not only to you, but the people you do business with. So if I'm a private organization and you want, and I start, say, a web uh, uh, farm tool where you put your data on my site, uh, then I have, and, and say I'm privately held and I'm not public, I'm not filing, filing with the SEC because my clients are filing with the SEC, I have to file an SSAE 16. And so that's a, a as uh, part of the Sarbanes-Oxley or SOX recommendations. Anyway, thanks a lot for uh, joining me for these interview questions. My name's Chuck Wood. Go check out my Amazon uh, page right here and uh, uh, subscribe if you want to. And uh, we'll be seeing you for the next interview. Thanks.